Hey, what's up, you guys? I uh, wanted to do this video about DoorDash not being able to rip you off if you have the Dasher Direct. So I'm hoping this video gets pushed out and a lot of people get to see it so that they prevents DoorDash from stealing anybody else's money because I was deactivated back in October. DoorDash accused me of lying and saying the stores were closed and collecting half pay, which was total... BS. I, I was getting lied to by the late night store employees, and they were telling me it was closed. And I probably should have called or you know done done a, a different you know way of collecting the half pay than taking the picture of the inside of the store. You know, I, I would do that when I was in a hurry. And so, I I don't just dis totally disagree that they you know should have deactivated me, but there, there's no way they should have kept my over seventeen hundred dollars that they kept a whole week's pay and I still haven't received that money and DoorDash totally pocketed that which to me is a is a crime they they totally stole a large amount of money from from me and now I've discovered that that's their regular practice and they whenever they deactivate you for any reason they keep your final pay but I reapplied and they just I just used a different email address and phone number and they they signed me back up for almost three months and then deactivated me again on the 16th, January 16th, just recently. Um, and I had the Dasher Direct this time, but they had the 30-day $5,000 limit that I was over. So I had a decent-sized balance in that Dasher Direct when they deactivated me because I, you know, couldn't, I wasn't able to move it to my bank account. They never received, I never received the payment card that was supposed to show up in the mail. But I just wanted to show everybody that they can't rip you off if you have that Dasher Direct and you need to, everyone that's earning on DoorDash needs this Dasher Direct to make sure they don't rip you off. And I just got the the final balance to be able to be moved to my, my checking account. So I'm going to show you that. So I have eight hundred and twenty two dollars in here and I I did a hundred of it already that was available to be cleared after they deactivated me, so I'm I'm confident on the eighteenth I did a hundred and that was all I could do. So I'm confident that I'm gonna be able to clear this right now while you're watching. Put it in my checking account and then this will confirm that I didn't get ripped off the second time. Let's see, I forgot how much my balance, how much I need to. Eight twenty-two eighty-three. Okay. Eight twenty-two eighty-three. Got it. They're going to text me. So I will uh, confirm that in my next payday video and show you that that went to my bank account. But this is important that everybody has this Dasher Direct because DoorDash is getting more ruthless. And even if you're squeaky clean, you know, DoorDash diaries, a huge DoorDash kiss ass, they might deactivate you for some BS reason that's not, you know, undeserved. And then they'll they'll keep your balance and you'll be wishing that, you know, you 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 saw this video and, and set up the Dasher Direct because they, they deactivated me during a Dash. And I, I had $125 on that Dash and that still went into the Dasher Direct and it's part of that money that I just cashed out and was able to still get. So they couldn't even intercept the the money from the dash that I was on when they decided to deactivate me. So this is very important that anybody that's doing DoorDash should have that dash or direct and have it set to go into it. 
because you 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 can have the dasher direct and still choose the the weekly payout or you know so you got to make sure that it's it's set up to immediately go into that dasher direct and one more thing there's a, a gig tuber or she's she's a former gig tuber this Megan Reisman who's trying to get out of of doing delivery videos but she she just got deactivated for for doing a video about declining no tip orders that's all she did was a video showing that she declined a bunch of no tip orders and that's that's not supposed to be a you know a, a reason to be fired on DoorDash you're supposed to be allowed to to decline as many as you want and she hasn't done a video about it but she did a community post about it and here's her Here's her post that I just saw yesterday evening. Created an unsafe environment involving claims of discrimination and or harassment towards another person while engaging with DoorDash, with the DoorDash platform. Now, if you are deactivated, I was deactivated on this phone number here, on the phone I'm showing you. And it says every time now, it says, and your current balance will not be paid out as outlined in our independent contractor agreement. Well, DoorDash, I beg to differ. It was paid out, and I just proved it with this video. So I'm going to be saying that too when, they, when, they, when that pops up on your phone. And you can't even look at your any of your DoorDash stats or you know the money or rating or anything, and it's telling you that it, it's you're not going to be paid out. You want to be able to laugh at them and and immediately go check that Dasher direct like I did. And my I've had a balance in there for over a week now since the deactivation because I had to wait for the the five thousand dollar limit to clear. So now I've I've received all the money that I was that I earned on that second DoorDash account. So I just want everybody to make sure that they they set up that Dasher Direct. If you're if you're making any money on DoorDash, you need that Dasher Direct for sure. Okay, so make sure you guys do what you got to do to push this video out, and make everybody aware, because I don't want these bastards to be able to steal from anybody else. It's, it pisses me off they're getting away with it and they're allowed to do it because it seems to me like they're committing a crime and they should be not just sued but be you know have criminal charges brought on, on, on the executives that are, are allowing this practice. All right, that's it for now. We'll talk soon. Later.